All right. Uh, first, I know we yeah. have one event left, but it's obviously been a couple days, a couple big things already happened. Just your thoughts on how this week as a whole has gone for the Panthers and South Florida? Yeah, we're very proud of it. It was important to us to do a lot of events in Broward County, across the whole county, from the beaches to the to the Everglades. So we, st we kicked the week off in Sunrise. Uh, actually, we, we did a beach cleanup first on the Fort Lauderdale Beach, and then we did something in the city of Sunrise. We had an alumni game in Coral Springs. Last night, obviously, the skills competition here. And then this morning was wonderful at Holiday Park, Wall Memorial. So, you know, we're very um, focused on the county as a whole, so it was good to have events all over. And when did this process all start? When did you guys kind of start? All start? Yeah, I mean, a couple of years ago um, when we won the bid in 2019, but then COVID changed a lot. Um, but once we knew that we were going to get it for this season. We um, have been working on this for about six months now. The league's been phenomenal. Some of our staff has been great. Um, and yeah, the, we, we, we sat down with the local governments too because we wanted to make sure that they were involved. You know, obviously tourism is huge for the local county. The, the Convention of Visitors Bureau we're very close to, the, the CBB, Stacey Ritter and her team. Uh, they've been so supportive in marketing and getting people to come. I think you just heard Gary say that we have over 7,000 guests that have visited. Um, so that's a lot of hotels, a lot of restaurants, um, and we're, we're proud to bring all that to the city. Obviously, you're not getting this event every other year or something right. like that. But, yep. Uh, this sounds like the league has been happy with how this is going to make you guys like, eager to try to... Yeah, let's. Go. I know Toronto's got it next year. But let's get it back. All right, right after. No, if we could, I mean, we love throwing events like this. I'm happy that the outdoor game was brought up. We would love that opportunity. Uh, I think we've been vocal about that too. But yeah, we were. We jumped on as soon as Vinny bought the team. We've been trying to get an all-star game. We got we got an NHL draft early on, and then we were really proud to to deliver for the the league this week. And um, yeah, I think all well, the feedback I've got has been very positive. How viable do you think an outdoor um, I'm not the judge of that, uh, but I, I think it's anything's possible, George. You know, um, I think if, you know, uh, especially now that the, the rivalry that we built with the Lightning, I think two Florida teams just figuring this out uh, would be wonderful. And I know the league's trying. I mean, Coley and Steve Mayer and, and Gary, they're, they're definitely looking at a lot of locations. So it's definitely possible, I, I think. You mentioned the draft. That was yep. like, seen very early in the final ownership. Now here we are in 2023. League's back in town. Just yeah. In terms of the drive the organization's made from then to now, kind of where do you see things? Yeah, God, we, we've come a very long way. You know, the the franchise, you know, uh, was struggling a bit when when Vinny bought the team. They had a, a number of years, about 15 years, and only one playoff appearance. Ownership changes. Everyone, I think, knows those stories. Um, the draft. I, I thought we did a good job, but looking back on it and and seeing how effective and operationally, you know, excellent the, the staff has been now. Like, we, we've grown a lot, you know. And this has been a story of blood, sweat, and tears, of hustle and hard work, and we haven't gotten everything right. We've made our mistakes, we've had changes, but uh, if there's one thing you can count on us, we're always gonna try hard, and, and no one's gonna outwork us. So uh, we've been persistent, and and, um, and we're committed to winning. Yeah, I mean, Vinny's all in on, on bringing a cup here. He promised two things. One was investing in the community, which I think we've done, we can control that. The second thing was winning the Stanley Cup. And we're still working on that. So. I know a lot of Panthers fans and season ticket holders became fans for yep. the All-Star game this year. Yep. Two, yeah. We're yeah. hoping for an immediate impact, and you know, obviously this, this is all over the news and stuff, but how much are you hoping this is also maybe planting seeds for a lot of young kids to come back? And oh, absolutely. <clears throat> I saw it the first event we had in City of Sunrise, one of the local parks, and you would think, I mean, sun, uh, the arena is right there in Sunrise. So we... Um, yeah, at this point, I've gotten to know a lot of the season ticket holders just by face, by name, and uh, I saw a lot of new faces with Panther jerseys, folks that um, are, are really starting to take us serious now, especially with the winning. I mean, the, the roster that Bill Zito has put together the last couple of years has been phenomenal and has really helped us take the next step. And, and then bringing the All-Star game here, I think people feel, all right, this franchise is first class and, and stepping up. Yeah, we have a, a great agency, uh, WME, Endeavor, William Morris, they have like 10 different names. Uh, they bought IMG, they're a huge, huge conglomerate, great people. Um, we're down to a few final candidates, so um, nothing official. I would have loved to announce it before the All-Star game, but um, we, we figured let's, let's make sure we get the right one. But I anticipate us having someone either by the playoffs, but definitely for next season. The yeah. World, the yeah, the, the uh, we were just there this morning. Got a, gave a great tour to the NHL. <clears throat> a 
we're targeting um, you know this summer or, or fall. We're trying to get the hockey team in there before before next season. Uh, so, you know, there's two elements to it. There's the, the practice facility, the ice side, and then there's a, a music venue. The me music venue we started a little bit later, so that'll be we're hoping by the end of the calendar year. So yeah, well, with that, yeah. obviously yeah. there were uh, more events you'd like to bring there. Any any idea of maybe doing like a Frozen Four, uh, mm. events events yep. uh, in, in addition to kind of grow the hockey seeds you've planted? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So so we've partnered with Live Nation. They are the exclusive booker for the live music, comedy, so anything ticketed. Um, but anything outside music, comedy, whether it's sports or, or private events, uh, we're gonna control that. And we'll probably work with them with all their contacts. So I think between Live Nation and WME, we have two great partners. Um, and, and yeah, we, we would love all those kind of events there. Absolutely, we're just gonna get open first. <laughs> it takes, it's my first construction project. <laughs> no, nah, but we have a ton of professionals on it and it's going well, it's just, uh, post-COVID, all the supply chain issues, um, and we want to get it right. We, we were starting to rush a little bit to try to have it open for All-Star, but we said, you know what, let's take our time, and the last thing we want is in three years, we're trying to open it back up again. And looking at the hockey, you just mentioned the naming rights by the playoffs. You guys have 30 games left. Yep. Um, kind of a weird season for you guys. Where, 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 you, where does management look at this year so far? Well, we knew that the season would be tough um, with our cap crunch. We knew that a year or two ago, even before some of the moves we made. Um, yeah, we, we knew that uh, last year. Last year was great. We went for it at the deadline, um, but at the same time, you know, we won our first playoff series. We weren't satisfied. Uh, but going into this next season, we knew that um, you know we had cer certain restraints on it. But uh, we look at this as a, as a long-term plan. You know, we, we made some moves to set us up nicely for the future, in the near future. We're not, and certainly not, we're in our window for sure. So uh, I wouldn't call it a weird year. I, I think that we've had some setbacks during the season, some ups and downs, but we're still right there in the hunt and we're ready to finish strong. You, you feel like you've got the, the team, the personnel, everything like that to, to make a run at? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Bill and, and Coach and then, you know, are better service to, to answer all that but you know we're, we're right at the cap there's not much more we can do you know so um but yeah we're, we're going for it just back on the events that you guys are hosting has it ever come up maybe potentially trying to get a bid for a double ihf tournament like a world junior mm. or women world championship something like that yeah i mean part of the reason for getting more morals we now have five sheets of ice uh in, in addition to the big arena so we have three sheets in the Coral Springs that I mentioned, our practice facility. We'll have two more in Fort Lauderdale. So who wouldn't want to come here in December, January, February? So we're going to start with a lot of youth hockey tournaments. Um, we've already seen an influx of calls and people interested. Um, but you know, once we have the warm world open, we can, we can bid on a number of things. Yeah. Plus the arena is the, is the big one, number six. Any other questions for now? Anything? All right. Thank you. All right, thanks. Cool.